Okay, we're gonna do some bird feathers. You see I have this feather. I'm Jody, by the way, hi. And we're gonna uh, be creating the rest of this bird feather. I started out with a middle feather because that's always the best way to go. And then you're gonna kind of go out this way and you're gonna go out that way and just think about it as each feather is gonna be overlapping the next one. So. I'm going to cover this because I'm left-handed, and of course I should have started from that side, but no, I always have to go against the rules. <laughs> so anyway, when you start, you're going to try to go uh, with the hairs. Where are the hairs going? Think of it as how you do hair, you know, and a lot can be implied. You're not going all the way through. You're kind of stopping and starting, but you definitely want to leave some space in between because if you can look at this feather, there is a little bit of a highlight there. I know it's hard to see. Um, and where it's overlapping, you're going to go a little bit darker at this edge. And you're just going to follow the line of the feather. And sometimes what helps is you sort of look at the irregularity of each feather. and and that, you know, so maybe you start out with here, this part here, and you make a little lump going down, and, and this feather might be coming down like this, and then you sort of clump it up. Okay, so here's one clump, okay? And there's like a little circle where the hair kind of comes up and down, so we'll keep that like that, okay? Then go ahead and you'll make another clump and maybe this one will go out a little because you know feathers aren't perfect just like human beings right we're we're kind of these imperfect human beings we're trying to be perfect but that's pretty hard and you're going to come up and if you notice the feathers you can take them apart a little bit and they kind of come down like this follow it with your pencil and that sort of helps too and so we'll make different clumps and this is just yeah I can turn it this way too just to get okay you know every the feathers are just going in different directions but they're all going this way but they're kind of going off depending on how they get bent along the way so here's another clump and we'll make another clump here a little bit straighter and then maybe these hairs are going to come out a little bit okay and we just keep that feather there and just for inspiration. But what you want to, main thing you want to remember about feathers is they're just like hair. Follow the line of the feather, okay? My fine feathered friend. <laughs> was that a pretty good joke? I thought that was a pretty good joke. Anyway, so then we make these clumps here and then we're going down here and we're going to make some, remember the hairs don't, you, you want to keep your lines broken. You don't want to just make an outline of a feather because then that's kind of getting cartoony. And that's okay. That's okay to get cartoony, you know, if, if that's what you want. But if you're going for a little bit more realistic, and I am by no means a realistic artist. I'm more crazy and spur-of-the-moment artist. And whatever's on my mind, I just draw and paint about it. And in between my crazy paintings, I make these weird painting, weird drawings. And I do these, I like to do these studies of different things because, you know, if I want to make a cat in a painting, I don't want to be thinking, oh, how do I make a cat, you know? So I teach myself. And that's what you guys can do. I, you know, you can teach yourself how to draw as you go along and see here, I'm overlapping this feather, and I thought I was gonna make an extra little feather there, but I'm gonna to have to make it shorter on the next one because this time I'm kind of doing it this way. And that's what it is about art. It's always changing, you know. You, and the minute you think you know something, you do not. You always have to think about it that you are learning, okay? so. I start like this, you know, and, and then I leave this space and I just start working slowly with the clumps. And then I might take another pencil to just 
soften that edge there as I go. And you can use your blender too. See, here's that little stem. And I want to kind of keep that soft. And there's the other side of it. And I'm and if you see, my pencil's going down. You know, it's kind of going in the shape and how the feather's gonna go. You want to go in the direction of the feather, my fine feathered friend. <laughs> okay. That was kind of silly. And yes, I do, if you're if you're looking at materials, I use a number of materials. I use for on paper, this uh, there's watercolor I add to it, and um, but the first, you know, it's one thing at a time, right? Now, if you notice on one side of the feather here, it's darker, and then on the other side, it's lighter. So I try to keep consistent with that, and you know, I try to go okay before I fill this in. I want to get some darker areas here just so that you know it's overlapping. Wherever it's overlapping, it's gonna go a little bit darker, okay? And you don't have to put the lines all the way through to the middle here. See how you leave a little bit? Because your eye kind of does the work for you, you know, it, you sort of read more into it. And of course, my work is always really busy and I put lot of stuff in. So you don't do, just do what you want to do, okay? It's the way I do stuff, but it may not be the way you do stuff, right? So that's okay. It's okay to be who you are. So, you know, I might do some blending. You see, I'm kind of doing a circular motion, really, really soft, okay? And then I add some lines. And I'm starting out pretty, pretty light to begin with because you can always go darker. But with paper, paper is not always forgiving. So you wanna think about that when you're making your lines. And then I just imagine there's this highlight in the middle. And you're always going with the, the way the hairs on the feather are going, okay? That's always a good way to start. You know, try it, you're, you're at home, and hey, what are you doing? This is so much more fun than watching TV. Although some of those programs on Netflix are pretty darn cool. I like The Witcher. Oh, my favorite. I love all that witchy stuff. And so, but this is kind of more interesting than sitting around watching TV all day. And you can still have your TV day. There's a lot going on in the world right now. It's kind of really scary and crazy, and you gotta keep busy, guys. You know, so this is a good way to keep busy. And then I might add a, another. Yeah, you know, I work with with HB and 2B, and um, you know, and, and hey, there's no rule. You know, you just gotta find what really works for you. And the main thing is is that you enjoy it. You know. So then I add some blending here. And I keep going in the direction of the line of the feathers, okay? Just look at those lines. They kind of curve and then they come straight out. And near the end of the feather, it almost looks like it's a little triangle at the bottom. You know, so think of a little triangle. Here's the stem part, or whatever they call it. I darken here. And pretty soon, you see something happening, right? And then here. See, okay, so this is kind of going over this. And this still comes out because it's overlapping. 
The feathers do that. They have a mind of their own. They want to be heard. <laughs> Maybe there is a feather king listening to this conversation. He's going, who is this woman? So let's see. I don't even know who I am. Huh. You spend your whole life trying to figure out who you are, and then you go to the next world, wherever that may be. I hope that I end up going into a video game. Yeah, that would be really cool. To Here I am, this mature woman. And then I go on to the next life, and I think I'm maybe going to heaven or whatever, and then I end up in a video game. Ooh, that would be kind of scary and cool. And I defeat the bad guys. Ooh, I'd like that. I always wanted to defeat the bad guys. <laughs> but... I don't know if a woman that's always been scared to go on a freeway can defeat the bad guys. I just don't know if that's possible. I don't think God wanted me to do that. If, if whatever your God is, whoever he is, but um, it would have been nice, you know, to be a heroine of some kind. I guess we all want to be a heroine. Maybe, maybe we don't want to all be a heroine. And when you get up here, you can go a little bit darker. And you're going to go a little bit darker here. You just fill that in. A little bit soft. And then come up with another darker lead. No, I don't like that one. Let's try this one. Haha. <laughs> oh, I like that one. If you see how it's slowly building up, the thing that you have to remember about pencil is you need to be patient. Because if you hurry it, number one, it's, it's not going to be as enjoyable. But you're going to miss the whole point of the journey. Yeah, that's right, folks. It's a journey. <laughs> Everything we do is a journey. We, we may not want to think of it's a journey but it is it is now what I, if you look over here you'll see there's some different colors going on so what I also do this is me right it's not anybody else on um, um, I take like a cool white and I'm still going to be adding pencil marks this is like a cool oh no this is warm maybe let me see this is warm gray all right, so the warm gray I'll put on this side. It's kind of underneath there. And then I'm going to put um, maybe a cool gray over that, or even a light, light gray to kind of mix it up. Um, okay, here's a cooler gray. It's almost like a bluish gray. Then I'm having fun here. Are we having fun yet? Let me see. And then I'm gonna try. Oh, here's a cool gray. Oh, I like that. Okay. So I'll put that in to the center. And then almost like you see what is this this is white okay I can do with that and this side's gonna be a little lighter because remember one side's underneath the feather and I gotta watch it because I'm left-handed Ooh, I used to in the old days I would have been burned at a stake as a witch <laughs> but uh, nowadays they just think you're weird anyway so put the white in here we're not done, folks. And then I'm going to get some blue in. I'm just showing you a little bit of my own process. And you could take it or leave it. You know, it's totally okay. But I hope you like it. And I'm just, I don't, I'm not making any money 
telling you guys about this feather. I just want to do it because, hey, we're all at home. And let's kind of work together to make this time palpable and interesting, right? And if you see, I have a little bit, well, on this side, I have a little bit darker pencil here. And the thing about colored pencils is it's kind of a slow buildup. I know I really do paint a lot, and um, that seems to be my uh, go-to thing. I love to paint, but before I paint, I always sketch. I like drawing. You gotta like it. You know, I know it would be kind of hard if you if you didn't like it. And then maybe I'll add another color, because I do like color. Uh, I like the way when colors go over each other, it kind of makes those darker areas sort of perk up a little bit. So that's all I'm gonna show. Well, I'll go a little further, okay. So say I did this, and I'm then going to, this is a colored pencil marker. And um, what it does is it sort of works as like a terpenoid, and it, it sets the colored pencil, whatever you're working on, and um, as soon as it's dry, the nice thing about it, guys, is really good, is that you can go back in and do more pencil and do more layers. And it doesn't, it makes the paper just work with a little bit easier. So I just wet this whole area with this blender. Wait for it to dry and then I will go back in. So I'm not done with this. As you can see, I have a whole other side to do. Um, it just kind of sets what I did, and then I'll go back in and do it this all over again. So this is a work in progress. You're obviously not seeing the finished product, but it gives you a good start, you know. And if you want to see, this is the whole paint, whole drawing right now. This is kind of a drawing and a work in progress. So, you know, you can uh, see how each, each area is started pretty much in the same way. I just draw it out very lightly and then start working one area at a time. And see, this area is, was worked in a very similar way to this area. but. The feathers here are a lot lighter, you know, it's, it's more dense when you get down to this area. So I hope that helped. And um, what kind of bird is this again? This is a, it's nearly turkey sized. And um, I'm trying to think what the name of this bird is. It's like a pigeon. It's a very plump pigeon that's really large. So I hope that's good for you and I hope it helps. Have a great day guys and stay safe.